I think it was called Fabel, I think it was. Um, 4D uh, experience and yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, there's kind of like a pre-show, first of all, where you don't put your glasses on. So some numpty decided to put theirs on, started, and obviously didn't read the signs. And then when he took them off, then got him, caught, uh, literally smacked him in the eye as well, so he couldn't see for half of it. Um, so yeah, and then uh, went into the actual uh, movie set itself, so the 4D cinema. And it's a really, really good show. Really good quality, high uh, um, kind of high quality screens in there as well, and some really good effects as well that come through the actual seat, and obviously that come onto you as well. Um, but also, um, halfway through, like the tree, a tree from up the top kind of just literally falls right the way down. Really, really good effect there. I saw it obviously when I went into the actual cinema itself, but I didn't think it was going to play a part in the actual uh, film. So yeah, really enjoyed it. Lucy, did you enjoy that? Very good. Yeah, what was your good. favourite bit? Did you say the other uh, effects? It was the uh, the seat wobbling. The Didn't seat wobbling, that. yes. Very good. It was good, wasn't it? So yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Definitely recommend uh, coming to see that if you are here at Eftelin. Um, but now we're going into Spook Slot, which is the uh, the haunted house or the ghost train here at Eftelin. So here we go, oh, just through these doors. So here we go, just standing here at the uh, the new coaster for this year, so 2020. So this is going to be a Mac family coaster. So as you can see there, it's more of a powered coaster. Uh, so it's a dual in pairing coaster. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's actually the, the ride itself, I think is pretty much set up and all ready to uh, to go. Obviously, they're just obviously sorting out the theming and little bits uh, around the kind of area. So yeah, it kind of, you've got the kind of the blue and you've got then the green kind of side there as well. Um, but I believe it's set to open pretty soon um, in around about April time, uh, April kind of, um, uh, kind of just for the actual holidays there so yeah i'm really looking forward to getting on this uh this is a um, kind of a changeover what used to be there so bob uh the kind of the uh, bobsleigh coaster uh, kind of closed down last year and they've obviously added this in this place but yeah i'm really looking forward to uh, being uh you know to hopefully be coming to the uh, the open of this when um kind of this year uh, yeah and so far it looks really good they kind of done a lot of planting around this area so they've got a lot of trees um, and kind of just around the other side where you kind of go into the 4d cinema you do see that there is a, a lot of planting going on around the area as well so 
it's not just going to be kind of a you know a coaster and dump it and then they kind of carry on there is going to be a lot of theming and around there as well especially kind of the the plantage areas and it wouldn't surprise me if there's kind of a little pre-show uh, kind of before the ride as well uh, something that Efteling you know I think uh, kind of when they put a ride in they do do a really good job of doing that so yeah I'm really looking forward to it so that yes a Mac family powered coaster so obviously a little bit like uh, the ones that you have at Alton Tower so the runner in mine trains uh, Scorpion Express kind of things but just a bigger version of that obviously a family uh, dueling coaster as well so yeah looking forward to that but yeah looking forward to seeing it soon so here's another look um, at the actual coaster itself and uh, yeah, it kind of shows the scale of it really in terms of how big it's going to be. You can kind of see the very, uh, this kind of the standard helixes that kind of Mac rides do uh, put in there. So the actual ride itself is going to be costing uh, 15 uh, million euros. And the actual ride itself will go up to 22 miles per hour. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a great addition to the old family, uh, family area. See what else we can find just around the corner. Okay, and this is going to be the actual entrance area of the uh, the ride. So we just go through to there. You've obviously got then the two entrance areas, which I believe should be the main queue and probably the single rider queue. Or it could just be kind of a fast track area that we might put in later on in time. So yeah, you've got that. And then obviously that would take you around to the queue line, uh, which I believe probably would go underneath the coaster itself, just underneath that kind of the... Uh, let's try and get my finger in there, just there. And obviously then go themselves into the actual co uh, coaster station itself. So yeah, really looking forward to this. Looks like there's going to be more theming and then literally just the uh, the actual kind of in the tunnel there because they have got a lot of kind of electrical works going on around this area as well. So yeah, looking forward to seeing what it's like when it finally opens in April. Okay, so here's some more of the actual station itself and actually it's quite a big station. So if you have a look here, you've got all the way along and it goes right the way up to there as well. So actually quite a huge uh, station uh, for actually a coaster. Um, but yeah, you've got some really kind of nice theming going on here. You've got a nice little crate there that's got uh, Mac rides on it. It'd be quite a good little merchandise to keep later on in time that would, uh, but obviously they'd probably take them all back with them. So yeah, this is the front of the station which you would walk down uh, from the actual area. So where the fountain show is, you would actually walk through to this area. Um, and um, yeah, you kind of see this. This will be the first thing you see. So I don't know if this will be the, kind of the entrance or the exit, but well, you know, it kind of doesn't make sense because you've obviously got the actual bit over there and obviously you've got this bit. So unless this is going to be something different, but the track itself does actually go straight through to this little bit. So clearly this must be the station. It's just obviously an indication of how that you would actually get to that. So yeah, coming along really nice and the sun is just coming out slightly now after a little bit of rain then. It's not a bad day here at Efteling. Let's carry on on some more rides.
<laughs> Go for it. <laughs> so after the uh, the most funniest thing ever happening in a, uh, a theme park of uh, the actual mascot coming over and trying to feed uh, Lucy uh, her uh, pancake and basically uh, yeah it just wasn't working at all uh, we just couldn't stop laughing we've been laughing for the past like five minutes and our, our stomachs are really hurting just from it uh, absolutely brilliant unfortunately I only got a little bit of the, the last little bit of the actual footage but it was absolutely hilarious we've got some really nice photos with them as well at the same time which is great so Lucy and um, what ride are we going on now Red, green and blue one. Yeah, what's it called? Seance. Yeah, that's it. We are now on our way on to Seance. Yeah, so hopefully this time we won't pick the red one. We'll actually um, we'll go on something like the blue, uh, one that kind of the heroes or the treasure. Because um, I, I think I've probably we'll done do one of them treasure. before. We'll do treasure. We'll do treasure. We're going to do the treasure one. There we go. So yeah, we're going to go and do the treasure one on Symbolica. I mean Seance. Overtwinkels, <laughs> hallo allemaal! Onze koning kan het over, maar. Wat een saaie boel! Wat, wat, wat doe jij hier? Ik, ik heb een veel leuker idee. Geen audiëntie, geen regels. Maar ga met nee, mij mee. Nee, nee. Een reis door vertrekken vol magie. Het heet hier niet voor niets het paleis der fantasie. Oh, do through the palace of fantasy? No, no, no. OP, the rules. Denk aan de regels. Transito, culto, fabulu. Traag treden, open u.
We actually finished doing music which was the green i think yeah the green one uh, yeah it was really good actually you get to kind of a point uh, in the middle where you basically play a song by pressing the appropriate kind of instruments yeah really enjoyed that it was quite fun yeah definitely a uh, good old laugh and it was um like obviously totally different really to uh, the hero um sorry the treasure one the red one so it's just one more still to do which is the hero uh, but he's literally walking at the moment. They are waiting for uh, people uh, to literally go back on. And there is actually people just still sitting on it and going through to the station um, as well, going round. So yeah, not bad at all. Uh, really, really good. Now we're going to go on the viewing platform now to obviously have a look um, up high and obviously see what's going on around the park. See if we can get any pictures of any kind of constructions or maintenance or bits like that at the same time. So yeah, we're just going to literally just go through here and then you just go round uh to uh actually this way not that way uh, we go down this way and you literally get to the observation tower just around here which is the back of this symbolic building um and obviously it's always a nice one to go on actually to kind of see uh the actual park up high and you do get some really really good views and some good photos while you're up there as well uh, we still haven't been on the boats today and i've still not seen anybody on them bit of a shame really because it is quite a nice little chill out kind of ride um yes they are open we will. We can Let's go on it. Go on the boats. Let's go on the boat. We'll have a go on the boats. We'll have a go. We'll be the only person going on the boats. We'll have a boat each then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's we'll a deal. We're gonna have a boat each. Cause I, to be fair, I don't want to sit with her for that long anyway. To be fair. So, what we'll do? Go on the observation tower. Then we're gonna get on the boat. We're gonna have a boat each. 
I know. I'm going to chuck stuff out. <laughs> no. Um, and then we'll obviously just chill out and have a bit of time, kind of just chilling out before um, before we kind of probably get over, over to Python, really. It's probably end the day on Python uh, before watching the, uh, the water fountain show, which is at 18.15 today. So, yeah, really looking forward to that. So, as we said, we would be on a separate boat, and here we are. So, I've got my own little boat on this relaxing... Uh, kind of afternoon now really. Um, yeah, it's quite nice and chilled. The kind of weather is a little bit kind of uh, kind of warmer now, but yeah, still, you know, not bad at all really. Still, like, still a shame, obviously just coming up to um, to Barron at the moment, but yeah, unfortunately, uh, it's still not going to be open, even though the weather is kind of getting better. There is still kind of uh, just a little bit too much wind uh, for that ride to be opening today, which is a shame. But yeah, if you just have a look behind me, you can just see there, Lucy's just coming into frame there on her little boat. Um, so yeah, um, you know, I think it's quite nice actually. It's, uh, like I said, it's the first time I've kind of seen anybody on it, which is us. Um, and why wouldn't you really? It's quite, sometimes just quite a nice just to have that little bit of chill out time. Um, just to kind of, you know, reflect on the day really. And uh, yeah, you know, it's not just all, all about kind of coasters, 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 is it really? It's, you know, it's a little bit about kind of different things, you know. Uh, kind of different attractions within the actual uh, park itself. And I think Ethlink is a really, really good mix of that between roller coasters, um, you know, and kind of um, you know, new, you know, dark rides, boat rides, children's rides. I think they do a really good uh, thing of that, and that's why I think it's turn it the other the, uh, way. You know, the best parks out there in the world at the moment. That way. You know, currently the attendance record, you know, kind of rate for this park is third, the third uh, in Europe. Uh, I believe Disney will probably be uh, there uh, as kind of one of the highest, and I think it might be Europa Park, uh, kind of bit, um, kind of that as well. But yeah, I do absolutely love kind of coming to this park. Uh, you know, and it's just, like I said, it's got a great mix of kind of different variations of rides for different people. Um, so yeah, you know, great, isn't it? Well, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to enjoy uh, my little bit of time out, a bit of chill out. We're just going past Baron now, so hopefully I'll get a few pictures. Um, uh, that I haven't got before um, of the ride itself and if not then uh, I'll just carry on chilling out and enjoying our day so see what, how far she's back and see how she's doing yep there she is still still in, uh, chilling out there as well in her little uh, boat but no no action over there at Baron unfortunately but I think probably the, the right thing for them to do in terms of uh, making sure that the, the safety of our guest is very uh, pinnacle there as well so here we go guys, I'm going to go and try and get some photos. If it is, I'm on it. Oh my God, please be open. See you later. You wanna go again? No, she does though. Just gonna send her out again. <laughs> I'm sure she does, yeah. Don't let her off. Would you believe starting the actual theme park season with a bit of snow is that kind of a, a sign of things to come? But what is a good sign of things to come is Joyce has just opened, um, so um, I'm really looking forward to getting on it. So um, it was actually broken down for a little bit of time, so I wasn't expecting it to be up. The actual website it says said it was going to be closed today. But um, just speaking to the staff member, they said, yeah, they're trying to open it. So yeah, they've opened it just back up. So my plan is now is to actually do quite Buzz a few in. cycles. <laughs> right. um, so the plan is literally to get over there now and get some kind of rides on that. So obviously you do know with the actual ride itself, it's a dual coaster, wooden coaster. 
um, and it kind of does two different kind of layouts. So the plan is to get over there, do some back rows on E for Chuan and obviously get some footage of us on the ride. So really looking forward to it. But yeah, the snow's still coming down at the moment. Don't worry, we will be able to get home, no problem at all. Uh, it will, it is stopping. Um, but yeah, so this the next stop for us is going to be Joyce. Yeah. Can't, can't, uh, can't get my words out. How amazing is that? Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, Jesus! So we, you can't go on the Rickerman when it's like mine at one degree or something, but we can go on this when it's snowing. Oh my god, we're gonna get beaten. Uh, oh my god. Oh, it's coming up. I didn't know we were where we were. Oh, that was. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe we're on the coaster in the snow.
great ride, absolutely brilliant ride. One of my favourite wooden coasters out there, and that just proves why. <coughs> airtime after airtime, brilliant. And also being used in the snow as well, guys, in the snow. So this is my uh, fourth time now um, on the front row. Every time I go to the station, there is literally nobody waiting. So I'm just gonna literally just let the camera sit on my chest this time and just see what the footage actually comes out to. I wanna get these arms up in the air and I'm just gonna ride this coaster. One of the best wooden coasters out there. Here we go. First drop, here we go. Woo! First one, second one. Triple up to the right hand side. And the down, triple down. Double down. Joris. Absolutely incredible coaster. Still believe probably one of the best ones out there for me in terms of wooden coasters. It's just, I don't know what it is about the ride itself. It's not the biggest, it's not the fastest, but it just gives you the most entertainment, it really does. Um, and when you get queue lines like this where there's nobody on it whatsoever, it, it makes it so much better. It is an absolutely fantastic ride. And that is my queue to get off. Bearing in mind, look now, there is no one still waiting for the front row. So I'll be more than happy to get off and let someone else ride the front row for the first time. Here we go. over here in the world. <laughs> so I was going to go for the back row and, uh, and people kind of came so I'm on this one and the view at the moment isn't that great so um, I thought I'd just do a face one anyway just see what happens. So yeah it's a bit of a close-up I do apologize. <laughs> see what happens. Absolutely fantastic day here though, excellent today. Here we go, off the lift chain. 
and you go. First chop is so much better towards the back, you do really get thrown out. Here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo! First inversion. Woo! -hoo! Second inversion. Right, I am done. Joyce has absolutely killed me. So it's time to uh, go and chill out, get ready for the uh, the water show. So it starts in about, uh, about half an hour, so I get a coffee and then get set up for the water show. Uh, can't wait to see that. I haven't seen it for such a long time. But yeah, that is it, guys. That is all the POVs and the rides for today. There we go. So that is pretty much the end of the Efteling rides. Uh, for this trip, uh, I think we're done to be fair. Uh, we've had a good old ride on um, Joyce, and then we went back round and did Python twice as well to finish off the day. Um, so, yeah, absolutely fantastic that uh, Joyce opened. Like I said, one of my favourite ones there. Um, and yeah, it's, the park is just absolutely empty. It's, uh, it's, it was amazing to kind of have. And you know, going back into the station on rides, and no one waiting for the front row. You know, it's just literally just to sit there. You don't really get that in many parks, to be fair. Um, especially like something like a Disney park, where you'd probably have to walk around the whole way, even if it was uh, empty. So yeah, staff are really accommodated in terms of allowing you to, obviously, with the right equipment. So obviously, the chest mount um, or kind of the wrist mount and stuff as well, uh, allow you to kind of film. Uh, you know, you kind of uh, on ride filming. Um, just make sure that you obviously do make sure you check beforehand and obviously have the appropriate equipment obviously like i'm wearing here uh before kind of doing so it's just safer guys and obviously if you do that and the parks help you know kind of do it you know as well they'll continue to do that and help as well i've really enjoyed it again today you know just cement what kind of me have been one of the kind of the best parks that i like visiting as well lucy what did you think today brilliant very Actually, good very good yeah really good isn't it it sounds for you top rider of the day the wooden one jo joyce five and the drake five times in a row five times about getting off and it's really strange because when you get off you literally could feel the ground moving as you're walking because you're like obviously rattle so much but yeah absolutely great wasn't it really and kind of we've had some really good laughs today some we've caught on camera some we haven't the I jester mean, trying to feed me is the top moment definitely oh we were crying literally laughing so much uh, definitely there as well and obviously getting on there and going through the snow on that first ride of it literally getting bombarded with snow we just literally just couldn't see anything we just we just come into the station with lucy's glasses literally halfway up her face <laughs> literally so she couldn't even see and obviously i just couldn't see it all i put hood up and i just literally just couldn't see being impaled by snow so yeah really good so yeah we've got about about 20 minutes i believe now till the actual show starts i think it's going ahead i mean there's not said anything different uh, we'll check the app in a bit um, but yeah, the next kind of one is uh, kind of just gets up set up for the actual show itself. It starts at 18, uh, 15 today. And I believe it's around about a 20 minute show, if I remember rightly, uh, which is a water fountain show, which is just literally just coming up down here. So the plan is, is to get probably get a coffee. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're a bit we're cold now, aren't we? Very it's cold, uh, very cold. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit cold. Gets us ready, for, well, gets me ready, shall I say, for Blackpool next week. Um, but yeah, in terms of it, it's a bit cold, so I'm going to get a coffee, get set up, make sure that the tripod, uh, that they've got a tripod, but the actual, uh, the GoPro mount is uh, on the rail, so obviously we can get some really clean footage there, so obviously uh, for you guys. But that's it, next time you, uh, you'll see us is probably at the end when everything is over with. Every single day.
So there we go, it ends our day here at Efteling. What an absolutely fantastic show that was, the water show at the end. And what was quite amazing as well, so hopefully that picked it up on camera. Uh, right in the very back, there was actually lightning going off at the same time. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that that picked it up. And if it is on there, I'll try and slow it down to kind of show you guys the actual lightning bolts um, as we were kind of watching that show. So what, what of a day, absolutely fantastic day to kind of think that uh, most of the coasters were going to be closed. And in the end, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, Obviously, you've got the water coaster, which is not really going to open in this weather. Um, so, only have Baron pretty much closed in the end. I'm really happy with that, to be fair, I really am. To get back on Joris is an absolutely great uh, coaster there, and I've really enjoyed it. So, it was definitely worth uh, coming over here for the day today to pretty much nearly an empty park. So, yeah, absolutely things, and it just sets me now up for the, the 2020 season, you know, and whatever that brings. There's going to be so many new parks this year, so, you know, and this is just the start of many uh, for this year again. So, Lucy. Hello. How's your day been at Efteling? Very good. You've Very enjoyed good. it, yeah? Yes, so obviously yes. first time pretty much in kind of a, you know an independent mini park, isn't it? Yes. For you. Yes, yes, enjoyed yes. it? Very good. Very yeah, good. and yes. in terms of best road, ride of the day for you? It has to be the wooden one. Yeah, the wooden amazing, coaster. Amazing. Oh my god. And just to literally get on it as many times as we did as well. So yeah, we've really enjoyed it. We've had a good laugh today. It's been an absolutely fantastic day. And that is pretty much it. That is the end of our vlog. I'm just hoping now that my phone uh, actually charges quick enough so we can get out of the car box. I've already paid for the ticket and my battery's gone completely dead. Well, so we'll that, be stuck. Oh, we will be stuck and we need to go and get to a souvenir shop to go and get uh, Lucy some clogs. <laughs> but that is it, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do on the video as well. Speak to you all soon and I'll catch your ass down the road.